I have a request for those of you who do not believe that we are experiencing climate catastrophe, or to put it more politely, climate change. Please get a hold of this book, Side Effects, A Footloose Journey to the Apocalypse. Read it, and please let me know what you think. Um, I will post the email address at the end of this message. Um, oh, I haven't told you who I am yet, the author of Side Effects. My name is Montana Katz, and I am a psychoanalyst and an author. I have written widely, on, um, including books on psychoanalysis, award-winning books on gender bias, and two other novels, Clytemnestra's Last Day, which is well worth a read for those of you who are interested in a feminist reconstruction of the Oresteia. And the second one is Living Dolls and Other Women, which is a romp through the art world of uh, Soho, New York in the 1980s. And I also have a similar request for those of you who are experiencing the disaster of climate catastrophe. Please do also get a hold of side effects and let me know what you think. I'd be very interested to know. So I hope by now you're wondering what this book is about. First of all, it's a novel, and it's a portrait of the post-World War II baby boom generation and what happened in that post-war era of especially the 50s and the 60s that led us straight to our catastrophic condition. The road was merry for some, jobs for the picking, family wages, inventions, flights to the moon, building, constructing, booming, booming, everywhere anyone looked. The sky was the limit. The rollicking ride of adults in that era had a huge underside. Who thought about where all that garbage, all that plastic, all those chemicals were going? Who thought about the contents of the miracle prepared frozen foods, the glory of treatment with an abundance of antibiotics, of logging, damming rivers, DDT, and other chemicals to grow more and more tainted food, hormones and antibiotics in animals, livestock as we call them. And just think about what that word means. So this book is about the era, about people, and what they were doing, their music, their culture, movies, politics, and about the poisonous underside of all that growth. The book begins in the mid-50s with a young couple zooming off on, um, on their motorcycle fresh from their wedding on the East Coast and heading west to sites unseen. Remember, there was no internet, so they mostly only had postcard images of the Wild West. After camping their way across with a longer pit stop on a Navajo reservation, they arrive in California. Here's how they felt. I'll read a short excerpt from, a, from the first chapter. When they arrived at the San Francisco Bay Area, the vista unfolded before their eyes. They leapt in unison off their blue rusted out, coated with dead bugs motorcycle, and let it fall to the ground with a thud, so taken with the scene neither noticed. Side by side, they stood for a moment in silence, looking out and dropped to their knees. It was a perfect, clear blue sky day with sunshine toasting their faces. They knew they had arrived at Mecca and knew they'd never, ever leave. And so the book and the couple's life begins. A nice interview about the book was done in a Massachusetts publication called The Berkshire Edge. I'd like to quote um, from some of it because the interviewer asked me some very good questions. And so I'll, I'll read you one of them. She asked, the parallels between your book and the world in which we are currently living abound. Was that an accident? I answered, I couldn't have predicted COVID per se, but we already had what was called the first pandemic, which was Lyme disease when I was writing. And we certainly knew that deforestation was exposing us to more diseases than ever before. There were already wildfires all over the world and in large parts of the country heat waves and droughts. So all of that was already happening at pretty serious levels. It's just so much worse now. In a way, the way the book opens, with the young couple on, a, on their honeymoon motorcycle trek to arriving in the Bay Area of San Francisco 
and seeing it as Mecca in the mid-50s, beautiful, pristine, and wild, in contrast to what's happening now with the absolutely devastating fires that are worse than ever before up and down the West Coast, not to mention all of the environmental disasters happening there, like the burning of very highly toxic military installations that were never even put on maps until they were burning. The contrast, especially of the opening chapter, to take where the state of California is, for instance, is really eye-opening and shocking. A lot of what happens in the book, which was horrifying to me when I was writing it, almost looks quaint now in comparison with what we know now. The time for action has always been now, but now it is really now. Thank you so much for listening.